These are extraordinary times, and we face an extraordinary challenge. Our strength as well as our convictions have imposed upon this nation the role of leader in freedom's cause. Now going on around the world between freedom and tyranny, the dramatic achievements in space which occurred in recent weeks should have made clear to us all, as did the Sputnik in 1957, the impact of this adventure on the minds of men everywhere who are attempting to make a determination of which road they should take. Since early in my term, our efforts in space have been under review. With the advice of the Vice President, who is Chairman of the National Space Council, we have examined where we are strong and where we are not, where we may succeed and where we may not. Now it is time to take longer strides, time for a great new American enterprise, time for this nation to take a clearly leading role in space achievement, which in many ways may hold the key to our future on Earth. I believe we possess all the resources and talents necessary, but the facts of the matter are that we have never made the national decisions or marshaled the national resources required for such leadership. We have never specified long-range goals on an urgent time schedule or managed our resources and our time so as to ensure their fulfillment. I therefore ask the Congress, above and beyond the increases I had earlier requested for space activities, to provide the funds which are needed to meet the following national goals. First, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. No single space project in this period will be more impressive to mankind or more important for the long-range exploration of space, and none will be so difficult or expensive to accomplish. In conclusion, let me emphasize one point. It is not a pleasure for any President of the United States, as I'm sure it was not a pleasure for my predecessor, to come before the Congress and ask for new appropriations which place burdens on our people. I came uh, with, uh, to this conclusion uh, with some reluctance. But in my judgment, this is a most serious time in the life of our country and in the life of freedom around the globe. And it is the obligation, I believe, of the President of the United States to at least make his recommendations to the members of the Congress so that they can reach their own conclusions uh, with that uh, judgment before them. You must decide yourselves as I have decided. And I am confident that whether you finally decide uh, in the way that I have decided or not, that your judgment, as my judgment, is reached on what is in the best interest of our country.